delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deb and TV. Tarana! Good day, Grade 12 learners! Welcome to the new episode of our Lantau Compre TV School on Air, featuring Health Optimizing Physical Education 1. I am your teacher for today, Teacher Kai. Are you ready? Let's start! Welcome to Health Optimizing Physical Education 1, Module 5, on the Sports-Related Injuries. After going through this module, you are expected to First, characterize sports-related injuries Second, differentiate acute from chronic injuries Third, identify ways to prevent sports-related injuries And fourth, determine the safety protocols during MVPA participation Before we begin our lesson, we will have a pre-test Kindly get your notebook and answer the following. Just choose the letter of the best answer and put it in your notebook. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. What do you call the injuries that happen when playing sports or exercising? A. Aerobics B. Physical activity C. Sports fest D. Sports injuries The correct answer is letter D, sports injuries. Number 2. Which of the following occurs when the ball of a joint is forced out of its socket? A. Concussion B. Dislocation C. Fracture or D. Strain The correct answer is letter B, dislocation. Number 3. What is the best time to stretch your muscles? A. After exercise B. After warming up C. During exercise or D. None of the above The correct answer is letter A. After exercise Number 4. What part of your body hurts if you have plantar fasciitis? A. Ankle B. Foot C. Knee or D. None of the above The correct answer is letter B. Foot Number 5. Which of the following may be sprained? A. A bursa B. A ligament C. A muscle or D. A tendon The correct answer is letter B. A ligament How well did you do in our pretest? Don't worry because we're just beginning the game.
sports injuries may occur when a person engages in moderate to vigorous physical activity or MVPA. This includes physical activities which span from moderate progressing to vigorous intensity. Sports injuries are those that happen when playing sports or performing exercises. These are the most common sports injuries. First is sprain. It is a tear of ligament fibers, muscles, or tendons supporting a joint. This can occur when a joint is extended beyond its normal range of movement. Second is contusion or bruise. Contusion is a bleeding into the soft tissue. It is caused by a direct blow from another person, an implement, or an object. Third is concussion. It is caused by a direct blow to the head. Depending on the severity of the concussion, injury can cause varying levels of impairment of brain function. Fourth is dislocation. Dislocation occurs when the ball of a joint is forced out of its socket. A dislocation must be reset by proper medical professionals. Fifth is fracture. Fracture is a break, crack, or shattering of a bone. In closed fractures, the broken bone does not pierce the skin.
While in open fractures, the broken bone breaks the skin surfaces. Lastly is strains. Strains are injuries that involve the stretching, partial tearing, or complete tearing of a tendon. Chronic strains are injuries that gradually build up from overuse or repetitive stress. There are two kinds of injury. These are the acute and chronic injuries. Acute injuries occur suddenly when playing or exercising. Sprained ankles, strained backs, and fractured hands are acute injuries. Signs of an acute injury include sudden severe pain, swelling, not being able to place weight on a leg, knee, ankle, or foot. An arm, elbow, wrist, hand, or finger that is very tender. Not being able to move a joint as normal. Extreme leg or arm weaknesses. A bone or joint or arm weaknesses. While chronic injuries happen after you play a sport, or exercise for a long time. Signs of a chronic injury include pain when you play, pain when you exercise, a dull ache when you rest, swelling. Causes of sport injuries may include improper or poor training, wearing improper sporting gear, being in poor health conditions, and improper warm-up or stretching before a sporting event or exercise. So how can I prevent a sports injury? The following are some basic steps to prevent a sports injury. Develop a fitness plan that includes cardiovascular exercise, strength training, and flexibility. This will help decrease your chance of injury. Alternate exercising different muscle groups and exercise every other day. Cool down properly after exercise or sports. It should take two times as long as your warm-up. Stay hydrated. Drink water to prevent dehydration, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. Stretching exercises can improve the ability of muscles to contract and perform, reducing the risk of injury. Use the right equipment or gear and wear shoes that provide support and that may correct certain foot problems that can lead to injury. Learn the technique to play your sport. Rest when tired. Avoid exercise when you are tired or in pain. Always take your time during strength training and go through the full range of motion with each repetition. And if you do sustain a sports injury, make sure you participate in adequate rehabilitation before resuming strenuous activity. So how can we treat injuries? Inflammation and pain often occur after injuries to the ankle, knee, or joint. And the well-known RISE treatment method can help reduce the swelling, relieve pain, and promote flexibility and healing. In fact, 
rice treatment is a mainstay for sports trainers and other athletic health experts. The benefits of the rice method can be explained by stage. R stands for rest. Immobilization prevents further injury and gives the body time to recover. I for eyes. Cold reduces pain by numbing the affected area. C for compression. Pressure keeps swelling under control. And E for elevation. Keeping the injured body part above the heart reduces swelling and the associated pain and discomfort. Also, always remember that hydration is the soundest way to prevent dehydration. Prevention is better than cure, and the ways to prevent dehydration include the intake of adequate fluids, watery fruits and vegetables, and avoiding hot environments. Let us have an activity. Kindly get your notebook. List some sports injuries that you and your friends have experienced. List down famous athletes who have been injured while playing their sports. And as a teenager, list down all the injuries you've experienced while playing different sports like basketball, volleyball, badminton, tennis, swimming, and many more. This activity will be checked at the end of the week. Kindly get a one-fourth sheet of paper. We will be having our post-test. Choose the letter of the correct answer. You have five seconds to answer each item. Number one. Which of the following is not an example of acute injuries? A. Fractured hand B. Sprained ankle C. Strained back or D. Wound The correct answer is letter D. Wound Number 2. Who should reset a dislocation? A. Coach B. Friend C. Proper medical professional D. Teacher The correct answer is letter C. Proper medical professional Number 3. What is a break, crack, or shattering of a bone? A. Contusion B. Concussion C. Dislocation or D. Fracture The correct answer is letter D, fracture. Number 4. Which of the following injuries is a tear of ligament fibers, muscles, or tendons supporting a joint? A. Contusion B. Dislocation C. Sprain or D. Strain The correct answer is letter C, sprain. Number 5. Which type of injury involves the stretching, partial tearing, or complete tearing of a tendon? A. Contusion B. Dislocation C. Sprain or D. Strain The correct answer is letter D. Strain Are all your answers correct? If not, try harder again next time. For additional activity, kindly open your module on page 18 and answer the section Complete Me on a one-fourth sheet of paper. Another session has again ended. I hope you learned a lot from today's lesson, Sports-Related Injuries. See you all in the next episode of our School on Air television-based program. Once again, this is Teacher Carla A. Foronda saying, No safety, then there's injury. Knowing safety, 
then there will be no injury.